Tonight, federal, state, and local leaders are working to find a solution to the recent rise in gun violence. It is a major issue in big cities across the country, including right here in Columbus. New at 11, a candid, exclusive conversation from the woman now leading the way to solving the issue right here as she reflects on gunfire that forever changed her life. Assistant Columbus Police Chief Lashana Potts knows the heartache and pain gun violence creates all too well. It was a fairly young crew, um, but we were brothers and sisters. Not from a textbook or simulated course. We had done this hundreds of times before, and this was just different. But from the real bullets that claimed the life of her partner on the Detroit police force. I saw my partner on the side of the, the scout car. Friday, February 5th, 1999, a date Potts will never forget. An undercover prostitution sting took a deadly turn when a suspect pulled out a gun and opened fire, killing Officer Richard Scalf. We start calling for help, and I watched him take his last breath. The grief that followed sent Potts into a nervous breakdown. She found herself in a dark place while trying to mask the pain. I speak openly and honest about it because, for me, the thought of suicide was real. How could I stay here when my partner's gone? You know, how could I see his mom and know that he's no longer here? With help from family and therapy, Potts pulled through. Since then, the incident has fueled her mission to crack down on gun violence. I want to make sure that when a mother comes to me and says my daughter or my son was murdered, that I can provide them some answers and closure. Potts says much of the gun violence here in Columbus is largely gang or drug related. In order for us to curb the gun violence, we got to know who's distributing the guns. A recently announced partnership between the police department and the ATF called the Crime Gun Intelligence Center aims to do that. Our gang intel needs to be talking to our um, homicide section. Our drug unit needs to be talking to our gang intel. We have to make sure that there's no silos. But the efforts don't stop there. Potts says technology proven to be successful in other cities could also help here. We just sent a team to um, Detroit to look at the real time crime center. Um, we, we're looking to bring ceasefire here. We're looking to do some things that we know can be impactful in crime. We can solve issues without gun violence. We're capable as a people and as a community to talk about our differences and sometimes just walk away. It's OK to walk away. Live another day. Now, while Potts is the first assistant police chief, she may not be the only one in that role until the chief has the option to hire others, which could be promoted from within the department. Potts tells me she and the chief hope to have their OPADA certification complete by December so that they can put on those uniforms with pride.